In this lesson, we'll set up the global design system for our website. This includes defining colors, fonts, and other variables that will give our site a consistent branded look. Divi 5 makes this easy with its variable manager. You can open the variable manager from the left sidebar in the Divi Builder. Here you'll see options for colors, numbers, fonts, text, images, and links. Think of these variables as reusable design tokens. Once you set them up, you can apply them across your website. And if you ever change them later, those updates automatically apply everywhere they are used. Let's start with numbers. These are especially useful for font sizes, but you can also use them for paddings and border radius. To create one, give it a recognizable name. Choose the unit from the dropdown, for example, pixels, and then enter a value. Once saved, you can apply this number variable to any element, such as a heading in a text module. If you later decide to change your heading size, you only update the value once in the variable manager and all headings across your site adjust instantly. Next are colors. By default, Divi gives you four global colors, primary, secondary, heading, and body. Changing these will update your entire site. You can also add your own global colors. To do this, create a new color variable, give it a name for reference, and select the color value. You'll see these appear in your list and you can assign them to any element, whether it's text, backgrounds, or buttons. In the builder, global colors are easy to recognize by the small triangle in the bottom right corner of the swatch. If you ever want to change a color later, just update it once and every instance across your site will change automatically. Text variables allow you to store editable strings like a tagline, phone number, address, or business hours. Instead of typing them into multiple places, you add them once as a variable and then reuse them wherever needed. If your phone number changes, you update it in the variable manager, and every place it's used updates automatically. Image variables work the same way. You can save images you use more than once, such as your logo, a background pattern, or an image for your hero section. Define it once, and then drop it into modules wherever you need it. Link variables are perfect for frequently used URLs like social media links, affiliate links, or a get a quote button. If you ever need to update the link, you change it in one place and it updates across your entire site. Finally, fonts. By default, Divi includes variables for heading and body fonts. Personally, I like to set these defaults in Divi's theme customizer because then you don't need to assign them manually each time. However, the variable manager is very useful if you want to set up additional font styles that you'll reuse throughout your site. To summarize, the two variable types you'll use most often are numbers, for things like font sizes and colors, for your branding palette. But remember that text, image, link, and font variables are also available to make your workflow more consistent and efficient. Setting up your global variables is one of the most important steps in your design process. It ensures your site always looks cohesive, and it saves you hours of manual adjustments later. That's how you set up your global colors, fonts, and design system in Divi 5. In the next lesson, we'll build on this by exploring style presets and how they help maintain consistency across your designs.